Allah, blessed people, the Lord Jehovah has spoken with me. The Lord Jehovah Yahweh spoke with me this past night. And in that conversation, the Lord has spoken about the glorious coming of the Messiah. The Messiah is coming, blessed people. And it's going to be very wise for people to prepare, to repent and turn away from sin. It's going to be very prudent, very important for people to repent and turn away from all wickedness and go back to receiving Jesus and walking in righteousness and walking in holiness. The Lord has spoken with me about the coming of the Messiah. And then he has shown me a tremendous famine, a horrendous famine, a terrible famine that is coming to the earth, and terrible diseases. If you think the coronavirus is a serious disease, you are joking. I have seen terrible diseases and pandemics strike the earth. Again, I have seen an unbelievable famine and poverty hit the earth. And you can see the direction the earth is taking now. And then I've seen terrible diseases, the most terrible diseases. If you think coronavirus is serious, you are joking. I've seen serious pandemics hit the earth, and nobody is spared. Nobody is spared. Just like I said, when I decreed the coronavirus, and then it became fulfilled all the way from December 1, 2015, to now, when it, when it became fulfilled, four years after that prophecy, then I came live and said, the Lord has said, if the nations don't repent and listen to his two mega prophets, he is threatening to infect all of them with the virus. But now you can see what is ongoing. Everyone is presenting their shoulder for that infection, that injection of a piece of that virus, 8 billion people. But I have seen the most unbelievable famine come into the earth. Unbelievable famine and tatters. Poverty that sends mankind into tatters. Total tatters come into the earth. But I saw that those that stood with the Lord the Lord defended them and provided for them. They actually saw plenty. While everybody else, regardless of rank, went through the most deplorable situation ever. People died of poverty, lack of food, famine. It was a big global famine. There is a big global famine that is coming. And global poverty. But those that trust in the Lord will be protected. I have seen that. You know, the Bible is very faithful. The Bible comes out very clearly, severally, on that matter of the protection of the elect of God. Then I've seen the unbelievable disease, pandemic come and strike worse than corona, and nobody is spared. It's a ravaging disease with boils. Boils and boils virus. It's a viral infection, and people are dying unbelievably. It's even the air you breathe infects you. It's all over the air. The Lord Almighty has used his prophets to strike the earth again, this time worse, worse than the coronavirus. Serious famine, global famine coming, and a global pandemic of serious disease. The Lord said by voice, the Lord said quite a few months ago, about two months or so ago by voice, that tell these people that when the rapture takes place, the status of the earth will change. And yes, indeed, it will change for the worst. This is the time to prepare for the coming of the Messiah. I know that ahead of us is Terrible. Just like I prophesied the coming of the coronavirus 
And here it is, the whole earth, whole earth, everybody on the earth is now grappled with it. And you see that the grip of the hands of the two prophets of the Lord upon the face of the earth is so tight, they are not letting go. Mutations here and there. Vaccine, this one is working. Tomorrow not working. The other one is affecting people. Blood clots where? Situation, situation, situation. A horrendous famine, a global famine is coming to the earth. And poverty. It will not matter what rank you are, it will be devastating poverty. But God's people that will stand with him will be secured. So I don't know whether that is happening in the tribulation or before. He did not give me the timeline. And a serious disease, once the corona with boils all over the body, you cannot even sit, you cannot sleep on the bed. You leave your skin there when you sleep there. And nobody is spared. Nobody survives. And those that trust in the Lord with their families, he will secure them. Again, there is a tremendous historic famine coming to the earth. It's going to be a global famine. A historic global famine is coming to the earth, says the Lord. And this historic famine will be absolutely devastating. The ravages of that famine are unbelievable, unsightly. And that famine will not spare anybody, regardless of rank. They will go through the unbelievable famine. And it comes with poverty. I see this watchman lying by the door. And the owner of the house, that family comes. And he's still lying there. He does not get up. The way watchmen get up when the owner of the home comes, he does not get up. And that watchman, they ask him, the Lord brought me there, so I was part of asking him, how are you doing? He was so weak, he could not even answer. And then he said he has not eaten for three days. And then when the owner of the house opens the house, the door almost falls off. So this famine will not spare anybody. The door is so ravaged, almost falls off. The windows are ravaged. The Lord is going to downgrade the status of life on this earth. That those who are remaining here may now feel the pinch of rebellion. Rebellion against the Lord. And so I see, I see the sand, the soil, I see the soil is dusty and red, total drought also. I do not know that these two prophets speaking with you today shut the heaven before that happens. Because the food prices, prices of food, also went so high no one could afford. People were eating anything, looking for leaves, but leaves, the trees were without leaves also. There is a severe, most horrendous global famine coming. Those who are wise should prepare right now for the coming of the Messiah. At the same time, when that famine takes place, there is a historic pandemic coming to strike the earth. The two prophets of Yahweh again strike the earth, but this time with a worse pandemic, a viral disease, much more infectious, even the wind. Even the wind, when you open your windows, right away all of you get infected in the house, and it will spare none. Nobody is spared. Nobody is spared. Even the wind... I try to open the window, the, 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 the windows, then I had to shut them back because the infection was too big. The, the virus is rushing with the wind. It's worse than corona. And the boils of that viral infection, they spare nobody. But when you sleep on the bed, your skin remains on the bed. The entire map of your body remains on the bed. The moment of reality is coming, and I'm celebrating. When those who have attempted to blackmail them, 
will now face the Lord. However, I saw that those that trusted in the Lord, those that were faithful to the Lord, He secured them. Those that listened to these two prophets, He secured them in a very unique way. But there was such a remnant. There was such a remnant. There were few. <laughs> I tell you, the Messiah is coming. These are the awesome days when finally the power of God will be felt in the life of every single individual. There will be no more rebellion. Everybody will have to fear the Lord and His two mightiest prophets. Because the Lord is closing down this chapter of human history. The Messiah is coming. Prepare the way. A big famine, a global famine, historic famine is coming. And at that time, also there will be a shocking pandemic. An unbelievable, unbearable pandemic. I told you with the coronavirus that if you don't repent, the Lord and his two servants, they threatened to infect literally everybody on the face of the earth. Now look, everybody is raising their arm to be injected, infected with that virus. And the issues, the blood clots, the what, 65 above, don't inject the ones below. Which one has problems? I. The way mankind now is grappling for life, they need a savior. They need to return to their savior. They need the Lord. But what is coming is worse. Anybody can tell that what is coming will be worse. For as long as these two prophets walk the earth, they have called God and he has come in his cloud. He has settled on them. Who is mere mortal to disobey the Lord? These are the celebratory days when we celebrate Jehovah. Hallelujah. The Messiah is coming. These are the beautiful days when now the Lord Jehovah stands out as the one and only God worthy to be worshipped. The Messiah is coming. Thank you.